my main research is um, palaces and castles in Joseon period, which is from 14th century to 19th century in Korean history. But these days, I have developed my interest in digital archaeology. Um, since 2000, several digital technologies have been applied to Korean cultural heritage research. Um, now, as the first industrial revolution comes, we believe that much advanced technology will apply to archaeological field. So now I'm at the University of Oxford as an academic visitor to research about it and benchmark good cases of other countries. Uh, today, I'd like to introduce um, digital archaeology in South Korea very briefly, um, especially what my institute is, has been doing and what we are aiming for. Um, my institute is the only national organization in South Korea with 200 staff. Um, there are several departments which researches archaeology, uh, traditional architecture, art history, and preservation science, and natural history. In the field of archaeology, uh, we are conducting mainly excavations, researches, and public services on important heritage sites in Korea and also in other, some, some other countries, foreign countries, including North Korea. Uh, as a first step of um, the excavation, we are using GIS and geophysical prospection, as you do. Um, um, one of my close colleagues is geophysicist. Um, in Korea, we usually preserve the site after the excavation, but three years ago, there was a first case uh, we preserved the site with only his GPR data without, without needs of excavation. That was a remarkable progress for us. And um, we are using 3D scan or photo scan while we are excavating. And for monitoring the site, we are using IoT, CCTV, or motion detection sensors, which are all connected to the office and researchers' smartphone. Um, and we are these days very like to making some VR, AR, or hologram contents. Um, those contents utilizations um, add value of cultural heritage and help to enhance public engagement, tourism, and education. In particular, we have created VR contents of excavation sites of North Korea, and we published to the exhibit that uh, to the people in South Korea, and pe people will all enjoy it, because we cannot go to North Korea right now. And all administrative works and um, management are web-based and all resources are stored in archives. As you see, digital technology is widespread in archaeological field in South Korea. And now, we are facing another phase of transformation due to the new technology um, it's our intro introduction of the new technology. Um, the budget and organizations are expanding now, and we are also have planned to build a national cultural digital cultural heritage museum. Um, and we are also trying to apply new technologies such as AI, big data deep learning, robust yeah, similarity analysis, etc. Um, there are many problems. I know there are many problems we have to solve, <laughs> but I believe that there are lots of opportunities and yeah, strengths like this chart. I think uh, digital archaeology is a literary um, if we think 
thoughtfully and manage it very well, it will grow into a tree with fruits. But if we pale, um, it will be usually sweet. And cultural heritage is many times the set. All cultures are connected. So we aim for globalization. And we'd like to share our knowledge with you. And we'd like to give opportunity to people all over the world to visit Korean heritage sites through the digital technology. For that, I know um, we need a lot of discussion. Um, so I'm very honored to be here with you or outstanding experts. And I hope that this round table would be a first step to connect our digital art um, knowledge in the world. Thank you.